Hello guys, my name is Kayla Real and welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be telling you what girls find attractive in guys. Now I did a video previously to this, it'll be in the cards above and you guys seem to really really like it so my roommates and I put our heads together and decided to come up with a whole brand new list, basically part two, <laughs> of what girls find attractive in guys. Number one, they aren't afraid to show a- oh my goodness. Number one, they aren't afraid to show affection in public. Now what we mean by this is sometimes boys don't want to hold your hand in public, they don't want to wrap their arms around you in public, but when they are holding your hand in public and showing the world that you are theirs, or they kiss you in public and just like a little small little peck on the, on the side of your forehead or cheek, hand, even the mouth, <laughs> it's just so cute because I find that some guys they don't do this, and the girl's like, oh, like, why don't you want to show me off? Like, come on. It's just so cute when they do that. Instead of, like, getting in fights, like, oh, you looked at my girl wrong? Hey, yeah. No, no. I don't find it attractive at all. I need to do all my roommates. <laughs> so, yeah. Number two, when they are intelligent, either in book smart and in street smart. I find this very, very attractive because the ones who are actually intelligent usually don't try and show that part of them off. But then you can also have intellectual mm, uh, intellectual uh, conversations with each other that actually broaden your sense of the world and your view of the world. But you can also have your own opinions about that kind of thing. And then he can also be like, oh yeah, well I learned this about this kind of thing. And be like, oh, well, that's really cool. I also learned this about this kind of thing. And you can like share your thoughts with each other. I don't know, I just find it really attractive. <laughs> Number three, when they are respectful. Now there is a line between being respectful and being the person like a child. Respectful to someone about their feelings about something or if they know that you don't like something and you don't like them saying something to you and they don't do it, that's awesome. Like if they don't like, you don't like sarcasm and they don't, they tried their very best not to be really sarcastic with you, that's showing respect, which in turn makes me feel, oh my gosh, that, that guy actually likes me, or that guy is very in tune to other people's feelings, which is very, very attractive because you want someone who actually cares about what you think and what hurts you or what hurts other people because, man oh man, if they do things intentionally to try and hurt you, <laughs> I'm coming after you. Number four, to also go with the respectful thing, is chivalry is not dead. If you saw one of my last videos, when someone opened the door for me, I always thought that they did it because they thought that I couldn't do it, so I'd literally race them to the door. And I've learned that that's not the case. They actually just want to show me, like, hey, like, I'm respecting you, like, I want to be kind to you, I'm going to open the door for you. And I think it's actually really, really cute when guys are showing the girls, like, hey, you're a woman, you're an independent woman, I get that, but I'm also going to show you how much I care about you and how much I love you by taking you out to dinner and actually paying for the meal, or planning an entire night for just us, or just opening the door for someone, even if they aren't like someone that they love, but they're still opening the door for that person to show them that they actually care. I just, it's really cute. <laughs> I find it really attractive. <laughs> Number five, they're upfront about their intentions. Now this is a huge, huge thing for me, especially when I'm looking at guys who I find really attractive <laughs> and I'm like looking to date. If you just plead, beat around the bush, I really don't like that and I will just move on because I don't like playing games. Yeah, apparently that whole stereotypical thing of girls is they like to play games and add drama. I do not care for that <laughs> at all. I'm very blunt and I want you guys to be blunt with me as well. If you don't like me, tell me. If you think that a date went wrong or you didn't like something about me on a date, don't just not talk to me. Actually tell me why. That way I can be like, okay, cool, like that's fine with me. Sorry that I did that or something like that. It doesn't, it, it's not making me feel awful about myself. It's actually much worse when you beat around the bush and not tell me what's going on because usually when someone is left in suspense, and they have to think about what the problem is going on with you, it's probably much worse than what's actually happening to the person. So if you just tell them in advance, instead of beating around the bush or being like, oh yeah, um, it was my day was okay, like I'm not, I don't want to talk to you right now, or you don't even respond to them, that's stupid. You're not going to get anywhere with that, and you're just being a coward, and that's not attractive at all. 
Number six, compliments. Not like, oh, you're hot and you're sexy. Like those can be good in some ways, but I love being called beautiful, cute, adorable. Little terms like that are actually more meaningful than hot and sexy or babe. It just, it's the way you say them and the way that people associate those terms with because when you call someone beautiful, cute, adorable, I just, something about those terms and when you use them with someone else, it's just it's very, very attractive. <laughs> Number seven, they are well kept. Now what this means is they know how to dress themselves, they know how to shower, because in my last video guys, like please shower, please put deodorant on, please put cologne on, put something on your body so you're order, like, ugh. we don't want to smell your sweat. We don't want to smell your, in ugh, no. <laughs> we don't want to smell stench on you. But if you're well kept, as in you're keeping yourself clean, your clothes are very clean, they don't have stains on them. Yeah, I get that sometimes you will have stains on them. I spill myself all the time. But that you're genuinely trying to not look messy, that's really attractive. You know how like people are like, oh, gay men, like this guy always looks attractive, and they're like, gosh dang it, he's gay. It's because they are dressing very nicely, and they know how to represent themselves, and that's why they're really attractive to most of us girls. Sadly, sadly they go the other way. <sighs> Number eight, they trust you. Um, this is a huge thing for me because I'm very bad at trusting people. Um, like I'll trust you with some secrets, but when someone else comes up to me and they actually trust me with something that they've been keeping hidden for a long time or they just don't want to tell a lot of people, for me, that is super attractive because they trust me enough that they'll be able to open themselves up to me and tear down that wall that we're so used to building up. And for me, being able to be there for someone and to make sure that they know that I'm there to talk to, I just love that. And I love it when I see that in another person that I can actually put my walls down and be able to talk to them and I know that they won't say anything to someone else because I told them something that was really personal to me. And number nine is when they make time for you. Now I say this to a lot of people because it really ticks me off when they're like, oh, well he probably, they make excuses for someone else. And when I, fi I find someone attractive when they actually make time for me because nobody does not have time to text someone back. There, there's no possible way unless they're probably in a canyon and they don't have self service that they cannot text you back. Yeah, there are some instances that you can't, like a canyon or someone's giving birth and they don't want to text anyone. But if they're just saying, oh sorry, like I had a busy day with homework. I had a busy day with homework yesterday and I was able to text everyone who texted me back in just a few seconds and then get right back onto my homework. Like it doesn't take that long to text someone back. But when they make time for you and they want to hang out with you and they make time to say, oh hey, let's do a plan today or let's go on a walk today or let's just talk today. That's when I find it very, very attractive because they actually want to make sure that they know and that I know that they have time for me <laughs> and they want to spend time with me and I just find that super, super attractive in a guy. I bit by so many mosquitoes and we were camping. I asked them on my head and on my foot and on my arms and on my legs and it's just... <laughs> All right guys, that is my list on what girls find attractive in guys. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and if you want to add anything that I missed in this video, please leave it in the comments below. I will also have my first video in the cards or the link in the description as well. Yeah, I hope that you guys are having a fabulous day and I hope that everything is going well in love lives. And if not, uh, get some ice cream, get some TV. Doesn't really matter if you're single or not because single is really, it's just partying. You're single and ready to mingle. It's a party. <laughs> it's a party. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright guys, uh, I will see you in my next video. Bye!